All right, welcome back, fellow knights. What is up, guys? It's Apollo here, and we are back playing Total War Three Kingdoms. And just look at the scenery back here in the background. It looks fantastic. I love those mountains. The sunset right now, beautiful scenery. I, this is um, this is actually romance kind of color graphics uh, so you can in your settings you can change uh, the uh, style romance or record records has a bit more of a dull like realistic I just like the the colors of romance and playing uh, you know playing records in terms of the style of battles but keeping it romance with the uh, the environment so it, it's a nice combo and it looks really good today we've got an awesome awesome river-ish battle. Uh, it's not quite a river crossing battle, but we thought it would be really cool to duke it out in this environment here where you got these different creeks and rivers and stuff. It looks really awesome. The trees and the rocks. It's going to be a cool place for a battle. And I am taking on Jackie Fish, and he's got a army full of legends in this uh, this army comp. So let's start with his army comp here. He's got Sao Sao. Uh, very cool. He is a commander. So where is he? There's the lovable fellow. There he is. Sao Sao. And then over here. Yep. Yep. That's right. <laughs> the big man himself. Dong Zhao. Uh, I, again, I apologize for the names. But Big Dong over here. <laughs> Ready to lead. He's a vanguard. So yeah, look at this dude. He's freaking huge. And then over here, we've got a strategist, which is Semai. Uh, probably, probably slaughtered that one, but... That's, uh, that's his strategist. And then over here, of course, we've got the famous Lu Bu. And he's leading a pretty powerful cav detachment force here. Already in wedge formation. Looks pretty sick. And then over here, uh, we've got Zhao Yun, uh, who is also a very cool general, sentinel general, who fights under Gong Sun Zan. Uh, so those are all the generals for Jackie Fish, if I'm not mistaken. Lots of heavy cav. Uh, heavy cav is so so deadly in this game. Look at that scene right there seeing the cav and then the army in the distance Looks awesome. He's bringing a lot of crossbows uh, One unit that looks really cool. We've seen them before the yellow dragons I'm also bringing yellow dragons. And here's the protectors of heaven, which is a cool um, a Glav glaive. I think it's glaive is the name of the weapon It's like a spear but a long big spearhead pretty awesome stuff so let's go to my army. I also have an army of legends. Sort of. I mean, yes. Maybe not as legendary as the other ones, but I'm still learning the lore. I have Yuan Shu, uh, and he is a very awesome commander. And I have Guan Yu, who, come on, he's he's cooler than Lu Bu. He's the god of war. Uh, so Guan Yu, ready to fight. My strategist is Kong Rong. Love this guy, he's a lovable guy. Give him a little kiss. There you go. And then we've got Guan, or I'm sorry, Gong Sun Zan, uh, who he is ashamed he's going to be taking on his, uh, his, uh, his fellow general that he usually fights with, which is Zhang Yun. So he's pretty upset about that. And then who do we have over here? We've got He Man. Hell yeah. And that's not him. Where is he? I thought that was him in the back. He's probably, there he is. He Man himself sure that's probably not how you pronounce his name but come on come on he man he's a scholar he's part of the yellow turban rebellion dlc so let's look at my army comp really fast in the front line i'm planning on playing very defensive here relying on my archers so i've got some heavy spear guard right at the river we'll go ahead and do normal speed heavy spear guard right at the river and I've got the Defenders of Earth. We saw these archers over on Jackie's side in the last video. Uh, again, i got to make sure I protect them and uh, make sure they have plenty of time to fire their uh, their shots because they have these like explosive rounds. Really rack up a lot of kills. So, got a lot of them. I've got the Yellow Sky Heralds, uh, which they have these big like mace type weapons. This is a Yellow <gasps> Turban Rebellion <gasps> unit. This unit's really good because they have no morale. They have no morale, as in they will fight to the death. And that makes them tough alone. They're just hard to kill, hard to break, obviously. 
And then in the in the back, I've got a mix of yellow dragons and protectors of heaven. And uh, I've got my cav over here on the flank, which is all Lance Cav. Not as good as uh, Jackie Fish's, but hopefully uh, with support of infantry or something, I will be able to, uh, you know, bring down his cav. And of course, we've got Guan Yu, man. Guan freaking Yu. Yeah, the God of War. Love it. So I put my uh, shields march. here in a really cool like test tutor formation not i don't forgot the march, exact retreat. name i think it's called oh it's a oh, turtle okay so test tutor, turtle same thing um yeah i've got them in this nice formation because again the spears aren't really known for killing they're more known for just holding the line and i saw that he had a lot of crossbows so i made sure to put them in this position right away i'm also spreading out my lines quite a bit because Jackie's lines are quite long. And he's also uh, moving his cab on each flank. Ugh, you know, this is going to be scary. This heavy cab is just so deadly. And the fact that he has three units on each side, it's going to be really tough holding on to my flanks. Um, he's got about the same amount of cab, but his is better. Uh, much better. I'm having to already kind of spread out the troops to each flank. Uh, cav wise that way I can kind of hold also. I've got some uh, Melee cab, but these guys I mean if they get charged upon I don't expect this cab unit to uh, Last long so they're more there to be defensive against this cab on the flank I'm not going to use them very aggressively So I'm actually moving forward a little bit uh, Because I wanted to, my troops to be a little bit more into the river and we'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit as we wait for these troops to get into position and finally the spears are moving up and i just thought it'd be cool they just look cool waiting in this river i mean how cool is that you know that looks pretty cool the archers on that slight mound there turtle formation all right lu bu is still way on the flank look at this he's got his cab and nice little row here wedge formation and that just tells me when you see Cav right away in wedge formation, that means he's wa he wants to go against my Cav. That, you know what I mean? Like, he is just dead set on going after enemy Cav. Because I'm pretty sure that's what wedge formation is good for. Penetrating through the enemy Cav formation and slicing them up. So that's his... That's, I assume, at this point in the battles, what he's going to be going for is my Cav. I just didn't know what he was going to do next. Again, I was being defensive here. The crossbows, I believe, are already opening fire. They already have fantastic range. And Jackie Fish is now moving up his sword guard. I stupidly... This is my first big mistake of this battle. Moved up my archers to battle. Don't do it. My archers didn't have as good as range. And they're just sitting there. And I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I trying to compete against his crossbows? I just need to get them behind this, this, the spear, uh, you know, the turtle formation here. And use that as a, like, a shield against all those crossbows. And look at this. I've already almost lost half. Oh, my God. The crossbows are just melting me. Just melting me. So, let's get a bird's eye view. Look at this. The armies are lined up, ready to go. The sun is setting. And many lives are setting right now, as in many people are getting ready for death, because... There we go, there goes the shots. Nice. It's not much, but they do a lot of damage, no the protectors of Earth. Dogs. Here they come, they're pushing up. Woo. Very nice, getting some great hits on these guys. Softening them up before they can get to my lines. I've moved up my infantry now. And I'm kind of doing a blend here of, like, swordsmen and spears. Little, like, uh, phalanx slash swordsman strategy from Rome 2 and Medieval 2. Uh, so I was just trying to make a solid line. Again, remember, I'm playing defensively. As long as they don't break through my line, we're going to be all right. And these are the heralds, right? They're, they're going to be able to hold for a very, very long time. More archer fire coming in, actually causing some of these troops to break. Look at that. Oof. Causing the troops to break. And look at this front line they're going to have to charge here. It's going to be nice. Back over here, the cav. Okay, wow. This is getting intense. The cav is already engaged. And sure enough, 
my melee cav did not stand a chance. Uh, so what am I doing now? I'm now dedicating the protectors of heaven to get over there. I was much... I... Well, I was... I wanted, let me, let me use my words here. I wanted my melee cab to kind of absorb the frontal charge there instead of my protectors of heaven. Uh, that way, because that char it's that first initial charge that gets you. Uh, but my protectors of heaven now moving over along with the other unit of protectors of heaven. Uh, back over this way, uh, no engagement yet from Lu Bu, but it seems like they are now moving forward. So let's, let's follow Lu Bu here and see his point of view. Imagine if you're one of the bodyguard of Lu Bu. I mean, you'd have to be an elite soldier yourself. And I was, look at the infantry, hold on. I want to see that. Let's do some slow motion. The infantry are starting to clash here, right in the center. It's getting messy. The river is running red. Running red here. Now, I was actually pretty happy in how well my archers, look at the trees on fire over there, how well the archers softened up the infantry uh, before they could collide with my troops. So, a uh, pretty good start to the battle in the center, but it's the flanks that has me most concerned. Let's go back. There we go. My men are just sitting there because I'm not paying attention. God. Oh man, this guy's going wild. Look at the charging on this dude. Oh my god. The speed on this. Oh. He just wrecked him. Oh my god. So yeah, that cab is insanely dangerous. So this was actually pretty cool. Uh, while that charge was going on, I actually set one of my cab units to charge the axes of the yellow dragons and actually brought it down to half health. We missed the charge, but we definitely get to see the aftermath. Now what I'm going to do is pull this cab unit out of that fight and throw him into this fight because I already, in one charge, have two units breaking. But to be fair, he did charge me in wedge formation and I was just kind of standing there. Guan Yu, Liu Bu, fighting it out. So awesome. The enemy unit Come on, Guan. Yeah, get him. So I really hope that... Uh, Jackie Fish brought this up, but how every general is on horseback. I really hope to see we like generals who are not on horseback or giving us an option to turn that off. Another good cab charge, by the way, from the heavy cab right in the rear of my forces going after my scholar. He, man. Uh, but yeah, I really hope that we are able to put like generals in like infantry or even archer units. That, that would be really cool. That would be pretty awesome. So, all right. So the cab is causing a lot of issues for my army. It looks like I'm holding the flank infantry wise. Look at this fight. It's like they're fighting in, in this ditch. Oh, this would be so gruesome. Look at the sky. And the tree in the background on fire. So awesome. Yellow dragon versus yellow dragon. It's a mess. In the center, we won. But uh, I actually had to peel a lot of troops away from the fight. And now they're charging into my spear formation. So it's almost like he did a really uh, a little rally there. To regroup his infantry. And now clashing once again in the center. So I got my spears and my yellow sky heralds fighting this front. More cav running in the background over there. Let's do some slow motion again. Oh, it's the big boy. He's joining this fight. I think he's trying to even the odds over here. There he is. Look at him. Look at this. God, he's so... That's a thick boy. He's just like, move out of my way. <laughs> so awesome. Oh, love it, love it, love it. And Guan Yu and Lu Bu still Our fighting it. Ooh. Run, dogs. That was close. I love that beard from Guan Yu, too. Look at that. It's a mag magnificent beard. Yeah, good hit on Lu Bu. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Battle of Legends right now. Oh, yeah. Guan Yu. Get him, boy. All right, so they're still fighting over there. Let's, I don't want to focus too much on one spot. The center is heating up again. I mean, there's so many troops right now. Yellow dragons versus yellow dragons. 
uh, spears versus swordsmen. It's it's a pretty intense fight, and he's got some really good units refocusing on the center. So it's not looking good on the center. I am still containing this side over here, and look at the rock. How the rock plays into this battle. I'm not talking about the rock, you know, the wrestler, the actor. I'm talking about this rock right here. It's a nice boulder. Got the protectors of heaven in here. Here's the problem, though. I have no cav. All of my cav is busy in the, the back fighting. And here comes Cao Cao and Zhao Yun. They're in the back lines as well. And I'm just having a tough time containing his troops. The balance of power is starting to look like it's more and more in favor of Jackie Fish. And look at this. Now he's committing. Oh, no. Guan Yu, no! I think Guan Yu died. Oh, no, no, he's still battling. I want to watch this battle. Let's see, maybe he can get lucky and kill Lubu. Ah, he's, now he's getting triple teamed. Come on, man. Ah, Guan Yu, no! I'm getting trampled right now. Lubu takes out Guan Yu. Tragic. So that's a huge loss for the army. And now Cao Cao is hammer and anviling the center. And there is nothing I can do about it. He just has too many troops. Causing uh, a lot of chaos. I've sent in Yuan Shao or Shu. Uh, he's doing his best to try to secure the lines. But big boy Dong over here uh, is not making that convenient. So, if I could defeat this force, then maybe I could regroup my troops and bring down Jackie Fish, but it's easier said than done. And look at these men. The backs to this rock. Fighting it out. That is so awesome. That looks so cool. And we're getting a mass route here. Huge route. Very unfortunate. Uh, at this point of the battle, my initial plan was to regroup and hold near this rock because that's where I had the healthiest amount of troops. But unfortunately, too many generals have died at this point and think I'm only down to one general. I don't think I was able to take out any of his generals. Uh, so he did a great job with this cav and it is just crushing, crushing my army. All these generals running around freely. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. All that I really have left are the, uh, the unbreakable, uh, the yellow sky heralds who are fighting. I think, is that it? For the yellow sky heralds? Oh, no, I've got a unit way over here. Jeez. Oh, they were probably pursuing, do not pursue, Lubu. They were probably pursuing a unit. Yeah, they were chasing after these heavy crossbowmen. So I need to quickly get them back to the fight. Uh, what a poor micromanagement there of these troops. Oh well, what can you do? It happens, it happens. So this is, okay, this is like one of the sickest things ever. Uh, so all I have here is uh, Yuan Shu. This is my last general, right? And he doesn't run, all right? He fights and wins or he fights and dies. Uh, he is falling back a little bit. I think he's trying to regroup with his forces. And I realized that wasn't going to work. And uh, who... Okay, let me let me say this. Who needs romance mode when you got records mode, all right? So at this right, moment... Move. This moment, Yuan, Yuan Shu, Shu calls out Lu Bu. He's like, Lu Bu! Move, move. The Cav don't charge him, right? Run, run. He's like, damn you, Lu Bu! Fight me! So he calls out Lu Bu like a BA. It's only him. Fury. This is it. He's like, I will charge you! And this is the epic clash between Yuan Shu and Lu Bu. Okay, here we go. So I probably should have done slow motion so early, but. Hold on, really quick. 
Let me just... There we go. Oh my god. There comes Lou Boo. Are you ah! destroyed? And just one epic charge kills you on shoe. There he is, dead with his horse. And Lou Boo cheers. <laughs> I thought that was like one of the coolest moments in the battle. Uh, just like now the guy's just like, it, he knows it's over. He doesn't want to run. And he's going to fight to the bitter end. Really what's left of the fight is just my uh, unbreakable. This is so cool. The troops just getting surrounded here. Unbreakable heralds with their backs to the wall. And also I've got... Uh, this unit over here harassing crossbows but they fight on even though he-man is gone uh, Lubu damn you man how, how dare you kill my general is that him no that's not him is it is he standing over his dead body now oh my god I think he is I think that's him is it <laughs> I don't know. oh sad day sad day so yeah, they completely destroyed the troops holding this this rock. And now that all that's really left is uh, this unit. We'll go ahead and fast forward as we watch the men fight to the death in the river. So I thought that was a really cool battle. Uh, really, it came down to Cav. I think he did a great job. Jackie did a great job with his Cav. It, they rushed in. They crushed my Cav. I wasn't paying attention. I should have got a charge off. Yeah, I would have lost anyways with the charge. But... I would have done more damage to his cab, and it could have been a little bit more manageable. Also, the skirmishing a phase did not go well destroyed. for my army either. I felt like my archers, for how expensive they were, they didn't get enough kills to be worth it. And that was mostly my fault for not managing them properly. Now we just got the... the mat. Look how much... How, he's got tons unit. of troops left. Like, it was a pretty... I, I wouldn't call that a valiant defeat. Maybe because of that epic charge from Yuan Chu, but... Uh, there's a lot of forces left on the battlefield from Jackie Fish. So let's end this battle and see the results and see how everyone did. So, uh, yeah, my best general was, uh, Gong Soon Zan. His, well, Cao Cao getting 312 kills. Dong getting 300. Lu Bu getting pretty much 300. 180. All his generals did well. The Cav did fantastic oh my god the protectors of heaven they did so good the archers doing decent see my archers like some of them did well like this one got near 600 kills like that's really good and if all of them got a lot of kills like that then it would be worth it but i had some getting zero two forty like that's just not good enough for how expensive they are and again that was my fault for sending them up there unprotected uh, but yeah, that's these guys did pretty well. Some of them, most of the three, th 332. So not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna wrap it up here, guys, for this battle. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was extremely fun, and uh, I cannot wait to see your guys' battle replays. Um, send them my way at my email or Discord. Email and Discord's linked in the video description. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the fight, and I will see you guys next time on the battlefield.